The largest retailer brand soft drink company in the world sits on the corner of Winton Road and 10th Avenue in Columbus. The U.S. branch of COT has been in Columbus since 1991. They now have 75 percent of retailers in the United States carrying COT soft drinks under their name. We don't put our names on our products. Being a retailer brand company means they can concoct the concentrate for the cola, but their name never makes it on their product. They make drinks for Publix, CVS and Walmart, plus stores in almost every state in the U.S. and over 50 countries around the world. COT partners with the world's leading grocery stores and mass merchandise retailers to build their private label program with carbonated soft drinks, juices, sparkling waters, and much, much more. The senior vice president for science and research, Prim Vermani, was with the company from day one and says his passion hasn't wavered. Passion is exactly what brings me every morning to work. It is something that I like to instill the same thing among the folks here, the young chemists who are coming in to work at COT. But passion can only get you so far. So how do they go about making a product that's new, one that doesn't taste like every other drink already on the market? It all begins in the analytical lab, where George Pinson and his team can break down the ingredients of any drink you throw at them. I'm able to tell a lot about the product, as much as 98%. The other 2% is usually the secret little flavors. In his 44 years of experience, Vermani has gotten to be just about as good as the machine. With my upbringing in India, with my exposure to spices, it makes it easier for me to smell. By just smelling, I can probably break 90 percent. Scientists use machines to analyze competitor drinks as products change. They give the ingredients list to the developers who work in a lab down the hall to develop the flavor base of the soda you'll see on the shelf. Scientists use trial and error to make a drink that satisfies the taste buds. What has been your favorite product to work on? Mm, that's a tough one. It's like saying, which is your favorite child? David Ragland has been with COT for 24 years. As a developer, he knows the average consumer doesn't think about the slight differences between two sodas. Figure out what the sweetness should be, what the acidity, the carbonation, and begin to uh, do the creative process, which is to work with the different flavors and um, things like uh, aroma chemicals and essential oils and compounded flavors. Once the perfect concentrate is developed in the lab, the recipe is sent upstairs to the concentrate plant where they mix and manufacture the flavor base. For every five gallons of concentrate that we produce, it's approximately 612 ounce cases of finished beverage. Inside this tank is a secret formula for just one of the many orange sodas that COT develops. It'll go from here to the bottling company and then onto the shelf of your favorite store. Vermani says his mouth waters when he smells certain colas. I'm so fortunate, as a matter of fact, that I'm paid for my hobbies. I love to make soft drinks. The scientists say with every cola they make, the time to develop the perfect flavor takes less time. The newest thing at COT? Shots. They've been working on the shots line for a year and a half. The six-hour energy shots could have been made anywhere in the country, but COT decided to manufacture them in Columbus. Romani says they've been asked to move their part of the business many times, but they never have. Columbus is not only his home, it's the backbone of COT. When you have trained staff, local folks, they're the best in what to do. The number of years they spent, you cannot train those people elsewhere. It's very hard. You can, but it's hard. He says another thing that's hard is cleaning up the idea that soda is bad for you. The cola industry took a hit when Vermani says the media started a rumor that high fructose corn syrup was bad for you. It took us three, four years to really clean it up. Still, the general perception is that soft drinks are not good for you. We never say that. I believe soft drinks that we make, 80% of the products we develop, we make, carbonated soft drinks, they're for fun, they're for enjoyment. And that's why COT may be perhaps the best kept secret in Columbus. You may have only thought Coke had its beginnings in the Fountain City, but now you know COT provides soft drinks for millions around the world. Reporting in Columbus, Laura Ann Sills, Fox 54, News at 10.